Time to musk up. Wow. All right, back again. Today I'm really excited because, can't believe what happened, but I got the entire Parfum Cologne collection by Roger Parfums. I finally made it happen and I got this. Just kidding. Uh, I'm just sampling them. I did not get anything for free from them, but uh, maybe one day. But uh, so I have no fear. I will still give you, uh, give you my honest opinion on the uh, Parfum Cologne collection. But uh, I've had this for a very long time and I've never opened it because I, I've pretty much tried them here and there. And um, yeah, but here we go. I've opened the top already. I didn't want to make any noise. Taking off the cellophane, but there you go. Very nice presentation. They're all filled the same, a little bit low. So I don't think it was due to evaporation because this is maybe like two years old at this point. But uh, as you know, I do have Elysium already and I've spoken on Elysium already, but uh, I'll go over that. And I even took this with me. I have the travel spray here. I took it with me to Miami. This is Elysium and I do have the, uh, the bottle. And I do, I used to have Creation E Parfum, but I sold it to somebody in the community because in all honesty, it was not good. It was not, uh, not necessarily that it smelled bad, but whatever they used to give off that boozy effect was way overdone. And it's literally all I could smell. It just ballooned off my skin and it just didn't work. It was, um, it was actually nauseating in my opinion. And so I had to let that one go. But uh, I do have this from Scentbird when I originally was subscribed to them. This is Creation E. Some is evaporate a little bit and it's gotten really dark and rich here, kind of almost like the color of the Parfum. And uh, one thing I do want to say is I've ha I have tried the Parfum versions and the Parfum Cologne versions. And one thing I do want to say is they, they say that it's lower concentration, but it's also almost, what is it? Like 150, 150 to $200 cheaper. Plus you get uh, double the amount, right? These are 100 ml bottles while the, par the Parfums are 50 ml. But uh, to me, it seems like they, they're they not as, the materials don't seem as good. It seems like some of the materials have been, I don't, know, I don't wanna say cheapened, but not as, not as good, right? But whatever, anyways, I have my blotters here. I did write down before I started. I'm gonna try not to edit that much here, but let's start with Creation E. Uh, I'm not gonna spray it from the, the bottle here, but I'll use this one here. So in my opinion, this, uh, the Parfum Cologne is better than the Parfum uh, version. Right away you get that booziness. You get some of that vanilla. It's definitely a vanillin. There's nothing really natural here as far as that is concerned. Very powdery, spicy, and woody. I almost get like a cognac here. And I think this one is better balanced. And as far as the, the smell is concerned, I would say this one, the materials do smell the same quality as the Parfum version here. So very nice. On, uh, on the strip, I would definitely say I prefer this, the smell on the strip than than I did on my skin. It's just, uh, for me, things when they're on my skin, they get sweeter. And that's something that I have trouble with, but very nice kind of, like I said, cognac, woody, 
vanillic, spicy, woody, leathery. Maybe I even get some some tobacco, some some leafiness from the tobacco, dry, powdery. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. Not bad. And the the thing I do want to say is the it seems like everything is starting to kind of bottom out uh, as far as uh, inventory and prices it seems like the 2020 and 2022 there it was just uh, buy 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 and uh, i understand it happened with many different other hobbies sneakers watches and we all kind of know why that happened because the government was giving out free money and so people were just sitting home and going online and spending it and spending it on things that they know that they love and you know we spent it on fragrances and it seems like there there's a lot of stock on the gray market because as i was doing uh, research for this video i noticed that Fragrance Net had a bottle of Scandal for 175, 176, 177, the Parfum Cologne. And to be honest, for 100 ml of that fragrance, for that price is not bad at all. Uh, but I do also want to go into the things that they're, they are compared to. All right, here we go. So... Vetiver is compared, there's two fragrances that it's compared to, and that is Grey Vetiver by Tom Ford. And the other main comparison usually is Vetiver from uh, by Guerlain, the Eau de Toilette here. All right, so when we smell Vetiver, we'll spray that on too, do a little comparison. And then also we have Her Heritage by Guerlain, and this one is compared to uh, Danger. All right, so we'll get there. Okay, next up, the other one that I'm kind of familiar with, so let's just spray that one on. And this one I have spoke about, and the, the easiest way that I usually uh, compare this one is if, uh, uh, which which two fragrances were? Oh, if Aventus and Blue de Chanel had EDT, had a baby, you would have Elysium pretty much. And But one thing I do want to say is, Although, you know, Blue de Chanel is, is considered a blue kind of body wash fragrance. I don't think, I guess, I don't necessarily see blue when I smell this. I don't know. Uh, it just doesn't give off that typical kind of body wash smell. But Elysium for me is what they would say a is a dumb reach because that's what it is. I mean, the, the citrus is here are very well done. Uh, I just burst of citruses. I mean, the main ones I get here is lemon and grapefruit, mainly grapefruit, very tangy, sour. And then it gets a little green. You get some rootiness from a vetiver, uh, some ambroxan, some aromatic notes, and just an enjoyable wear in my opinion. Although people I know say that this doesn't perform well, but uh, in my opinion, I get six hours and six hours is typically all I want for my fragrance to last. I don't want heavy aroma chemicals in the base that sticks to my skin for 24 hours because honestly, I don't even think that's healthy. It's not good. When it gets on your clothes, it takes three to four washes to get rid of it. If you, It's just, it's not for me personally, but I know people like beast mode and all this stuff. Just not for me, so six, seven hours, perfect. But yeah, it's just a nice, enjoyable, relaxing wear that, uh, in my opinion, a couple of people that I know that have smelt it have enjoyed it, but I will not count that as a compliment, all right, because it's not unsolicited. But either way, let's get into the next one. Okay, Vetiver. Let's get into Vetiver. Now, I do have a story about Vetiver. I had a bottle of vetiver and I made a mistake of wearing it while working. I, one of my friends, he opened up a uh, jujitsu uh, gym and he asked me to lay down the, uh, the floor mats there. And it was hot in there and I was in there working. I was putting down the mats. I was sweating like crazy and the vetiver was beaming off of me 
and something happened where all that mossiness, that galbanum, that fruity kind of vetiver really got damp and kind of moist and it was just it was disgusting honestly and that's that's the impression i have on vetiver and the day after i literally sold that bottle I, it just had to go i couldn't stand it but let's it, that, that was a couple of years now so let's give it another try here All right, all the fragrance particles in, yeah. All right. You see, this is very nice, but you know what it is? The vetiver feels a little flat here, in my opinion. Uh, very flat, and I get a lot of oak moss that that, those, that crunchy leaves, forest floor smell here, and I get the uh, that kind of that crunchy galbanum, that green spicy crunchy galbanum, almost kind of like angelica root as well. I get some spices. Definitely got some of that citrus at the top. I think it's a lemon, if I'm not mistaken. Aromatic, woody. It's nice, but now I, I just have that scent memory of it now, and it's just, I, I can't get it out of my head, but either way, it is very nice here, but in all honesty, I don't know what it is on the gray market. Like if this is 150, okay, fine. You might enjoy it. You might have this preference to buy this, but let's, let's try the OG here. Now this, I think is like a, I want to say like an early 2000s bottle. It's not that old, right? But I, this was right before they discontinued all the Listerine bottles. And I found this for like 40 bucks or something like that. And I mean, you can't go wrong with that, right? Here we go. Whoa. Jet stream. And let's get some of that alcohol out. So right in the air, I can tell where the inspiration came from for Vetiver by Raja. And uh, the, the, the there's just more sparkle here. I definitely get more tobacco here, more dryness, more spiciness, more aromatics, uh, more effervescence. I think there is a heavy dose of oak moss and galbanum here that kind of uh, makes the picture a little bit not as clear and makes this, that the, uh, the Roger Parfums, uh, Par Parfum Cologne Vetiver uh, a little bit more dirtier, rootier, mossier. And this just comes off as more refreshing. Very nice. I mean, uh, are they, like, are they that similar? No, like, I, I don't think you can say that it's a clone, right? It's definitely an inspiration. Like, that's what I would say. It's an inspiration, not a clone, right? It's very nice. Oh, that tobacco and the Guerlain Vetiver is gorgeous. Yeah, very nice. Uh, I, I wouldn't say it smells that close, right? Where it, it comes down to preference at that point. And this is Tom Ford Gray Vetiver. Yeah, so I see why people would compare them, but I don't think they're close enough. It's just like, it's one of those things where you put pineapple in a fragrance and everyone just automatically says that it's Aventus, right? But I don't think that's the case here. A lot more uh, grapefruit here. I would say this leans more towards Sycamore uh, Eau de Toilette than it does uh, Vetiver from Roger. Because in my opinion, like I said, the, the main difference here from the Vetiver from Roger fragrances, uh, fragrance is that galbanum and that oak moss. This is a lot greener, dark green, kind of coniferous uh, Vetiver version of the other two. So yeah.
that's my take on that next up we have danger so let's go to danger 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 here we go danger all right <sighs> all right right off like right in the air like you can tell right away that it's heritage right black girl on but damn, this is this is very very nice. Like I, you can't like I can't lie, right? It's that nice patchouli, very chocolatey, kind of damp, kind of fungal almost kind of patchouli here, mixing with I almost get some tobacco. I do get some citruses here at the top. Very nice. What else? It's patchouli. Leathery, woody, spicy, very spicy. I'm gonna say maybe like a nutmeg or something like that. Patchouli, like kind of boozy, like patchouli comes off quite boozy in my opinion sometimes, especially that, that damp kind of fungal moist kind of uh, patchouli. Oh, what is the other note that I, I'm completely forgetting? Um, I just said aromatic, I don't know, lavender, yes, lavender. I don't know, I had a hard time kind of seeing anything else, like I just saw red, right? I don't know why, I get, obviously it's the bottle, but a lot of spices, lavender and lemon, That those are the two big main ones here. Uh, I did have everything pulled up here, I tried to see what I can get from just smelling the blotter and then look at notes to see if I'm wrong or right. But I was just Xing out. The main thing I was getting was patchouli, but now it's really starting to calm down. And I know it says cumin, but personally off the blotter, I know cumin usually comes out more when it's on skin, but I don't really get any kind of BO here. All right, the video is getting really long, so let's speed it up a little bit. Let's do a little comparison of a uh, Heritage and Danger. Uh, this one, I think, is the one that really gets uh, compared the most. And this is an older bottle. I think this is an early 90s, maybe late 80s uh, bottle. But yeah, you see, now I see why. I mean, at least off the top, I see why people will just say, just get Heritage over Danger. I mean, even, uh, I would say, even the more modern bottles of Heritage uh, are still great, right? I'm sure it's maybe a little bit thicker and richer, right? But it's, uh, Guerlain does a decent job with reformulations. Although uh, I know they've changed into the square bottles. I haven't tried those. The last ones I've tried were in the Lister Listerine bottles, the one that you would find uh, this one in. But uh, even, I don't know, I bought this maybe a year and a half ago and I paid $80 for this, for this 50 ml. And I, it's an absolute steal for what you're getting. And so I don't know what this goes on the gray market. So a vintage bottle will nowadays maybe run you, even if it was like 120, 130, right? Or would you buy this for 200, for 100 ml? I don't know, right? Again, preference, but I don't know if I'm just like losing my mind, but I don't know, it smells very similar. Like it, it smells very close, like, uh, all everything else is kind of an inspiration, I would say. Uh, this is definitely more leaning towards the clone stages, right? I would definitely say this is probably more aromatic and lavender heavy, while this one leans more towards the patchouli and spices. Yeah, that that's what I would say. All right, last but not least, Scandal. Yeah, 
Yeah, so very vintage smelling. That, that barbershop fougere range. Um, lavender. Again, lemon. Aromatic. I don't know, I wanna say maybe tarragon or thyme. I would say maybe thyme here. Uh, spicy, but very vintage smelling oak moss. Definitely get that forest floor kind of oak moss slash kind of almost coniferous in a way. I know this one gets compared to Zerzhov's uh, uh, Ferio in that green bottle from the Casamirati line. I had that bottle, I sold it. I uh, don't think it was that good. It was very mossy and dusty. I don't know, it just didn't work on my skin. I would rather much prefer this. I know this one gets compared to, what is it? Eau Sauvage Eau de Toilette. And honestly, I don't really, I, maybe you can see that a little bit, but there's some magic in, in the Eau Sauvage that Edmund Rudnitska uh, did that I don't think you can, it's very difficult to replicate, especially I don't really get that that Hedion, like this one is a lot more lavender heavy in that Barbershop Fougere range, while Eau Sauvage leans in that citrus aromatic range. I don't get as much lavender from that one, uh, in my opinion. Just a nice Barbershop kind of Fougere, but the problem here is there's so many fragrances that do this that and they do it for a cheaper price that it would be so difficult for me to sit here and tell you, yeah, go and buy this for 250 at retail. Although they have, um, like I said, fragrance net has it for 177 or 176, something like that. Uh, I guess that's not bad. If you like something like this, I definitely think it's probably, what I like to say is like best in class, right? Like this doesn't smell cheap. This definitely smells elegant, nice, formal, nice formal wear. Yeah. So that is the Parfum Cologne range. My thoughts, uh, some of them are good, some of them are okay, and some of them are meh. Uh, I do think they're a little overpriced, but you know what it is when you have 50 ml bottles charge, uh, priced at $500 and then you release something for 250 and you offer 100 ml, it, it feels like a deal, right? It's like playing tricks with your mind. And that's the thing, Roger, his marketing is top notch and he's definitely learned a few things, uh, uh, a thing or two from Guerlain when he was there. But yeah, that's my take there. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. Take care. Bye.